Hi there, and welcome to Mech Solutions. Today we're going to be talking about the Inventor 2 and all its classroom functionality and safety um, functions that it possesses. Now we did do an overview of the Inventor 2 and that's on our YouTube channel, so if you go to Mech Solutions on YouTube, you can find the overview for the overall product review. But for this particular video, we're going to be talking about its safety features and why it's so easy for beginners and students to use. So as you can see, the Inventor 2 has a lot of great features to it, but one of its core features is that when I open this door right here, it's actually going to pause the print. So as we open it, it'll say door open, please close the door, okay, and it'll activate the pausing. Now it's just going to finish this layer to make sure everything's on the print is safe, but as you can see, it is, an, it is pausing right now. So this is perfect as a safety feature because what we definitely don't want is any beginners or younger children accidentally reaching their hand in and touching that hot nozzle. I mean, that thing can go up to about 200 uh, degrees Celsius. It can very much burn anyone touching it. So as children, they are tactile learners. They, they do like to learn with their hands. And unfortunately, 3D printing is not a, a device made for that. So we can see a full pause right here. And I won't be able to resume until I close this door. So I'll close it like that, hit the resume, and it will start resuming the build. So it's just gonna reheat the nozzle because the nozzle does deheat immediately once you open that door. So it's just gonna make sure everything gets right back to where it should be and start the print over again. So, the Inventor 2 has another uh, great safety feature in the fact that it has a hood. Now what the hood does um, is it helps reduce noise pollution. While the hood is on, you'll hear the printer, um, the machine parts moving a lot less, which means you can relax a bit more and you don't have to worry about it being um, so loud that you can't focus on other uh, tasks. tasks. And second, it makes sure that you can't accidentally put your hand inside the printer while it's printing. This is gonna reduce the danger of someone accidentally getting their hands stuck in one of the moving parts or the moving axes, um, which can be very dangerous. If you do accidentally get your hand in there and stuck, it can take off a fingernail and it can tear flesh quite easily because of the, how fast the machine is moving. So by putting the hood on, it's quite simple. All we do is put it on like this. that and as you can already hear the noise has been reduced quite a bit because you're not getting as much as the machine going up it's getting blocked by this and I can no longer place my hand inside safely um, so this is a great safety feature and it's included on all Inventor 2's so the Inventor 2 has a couple extra features in it and the first is that it actually has an onboard camera now that means you can actually monitor the print and the printing job uh, well at a distance. So if you do need to be somewhere else for a certain task or you want, you're want you going to work and you want to look at what's happening with the printer, you can simply view what's happening safely from your phone or from your PC. Very easy to use and it really is great because it allows you to check up on your print while it's printing. Secondly, it has the ability to turn off and on its own light, which means let's say this is in your bedroom or this is um, printing where sometimes you don't want a lot of light in the room, you can simply just turn it off and on at your own discretion. Very useful, so if you do need uh, some low light environment, you can keep on printing and you don't have to worry nearly as much. So the Inventor 2 has a very easy way to connect. As you can see, it actually has two USB ports, uh, one for your computer and one for a flash drive, so it's very easy to use. Unlike a lot of printers that feature SD cards, this one just goes right through a USB. Super easy to use, very easy for beginners and students to start with. Now, what you've also noticed is it's very easy to carry. Because it's made out mainly out of plastic and only metal for the axes and the print uh, actual nozzle head, very, very light. It only weighs about 37 pounds. So super easy to move around. 
So if you do need to move it around a classroom or a job site, you don't need to worry nearly as much. And because it's all uh, centered in and it all boxed in, you don't have to worry about cables coming loose, uh, especially like with other um, printers, they have their motor cables, which can easily come loose during a move. Very easy to move across uh, any amount of distance without having, have, without having to worry about it breaking down at any point. So if you like the Inventor 2, you can purchase it at mechistore.com or you can drop by our physical location and pick one up for yourself. These are great machines and they are perfect for beginner users or students just starting to learn 3D printing. Thank you very much for watching. This has been William from Mech Solutions. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please leave them down in the comments below and we'll be sure to get back to you. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.